Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be making these Christmas lights. And what's a little bit different about them is that you can actually snap them on and off and you can print them in different colors and connect them to, you know, any one of the bases that you print. And if you want to see what kind of filament I'm using, you can look at the video description below and check out the links that will take you to where I bought them. Now these lights are easy to make and they are interchangeable. So let's get started. We're going to start with the socket. So we're going to go to the shapes library. We're going to go to basic shapes and we're going to start off with the cylinder. So here we go. Usually I like to max out the sides for the cylinder, but for this one, we're going to keep it at 20. Now the heights are going to be a little bit different right now. We're at 20 by 20. I'm going to hit the shift button, hold it down and move this to 17. That way they all go to 17. So now that's 17, 17, 17. We're good here. Okay. The reason I did not maximize the sides because I actually like the way it looks. It makes it looks like it makes it look like the older, um, sockets that, you know, we used when I was a kid. If you want to max it out, it won't make any difference up to you. Now we're going to go to the basic shapes. And we're going to use, I believe, yep, we're going to use the cone. Now the cone, we're going to max out the sides for this one. So let's go ahead, max out the sides. And we're going to keep the, the ratios all the same at 20, 20, 20. But we are going to rotate 180 degrees. So to do that, use the arrow and stay within the blue circle. That way it's a lot easier. There we go. So now we have both of them. But... The next thing we're going to do is align them. So I'm going to select both of them and click the align tool or control L. Is it control L or is it just L? Let me see. Just checking. Oh, it's just L. My bad. So L. Now they are currently aligned here. That's why it's gray. I'm not sure if you can see that. But over here, they're not aligned. So I need to click that one and I'm going to group them. So control G. There we go. I'm going to change this to green just because I like, it feels like I've done something when I change the color. Like, yes, one more step is done. All right. So now we're going to use the half sphere of basic shapes and then the half sphere right there. Now for this one, we're going to want the height to be eight. So click on there, change it to eight. And we want the size to be 16. So click on the number, hit enter, change it to 16. There we go. So now we have the dimensions of eight and 16 by 16. Great. Let's rotate this again, stay within the blue circle. And we're going to lift this very important. This, there's going to be another number that appears over here. We're going to lift this to 13.35. So right here, 13.35 enter. And the next thing we got to do, is we're going to align them. Okay. So, um, click the letter L here and there. Okay. So I'm going to make this a hole by clicking here or the letter H either one. Okay. And I'm going to group control G. There we go. Now this is not the end of it. Not at all. We're going to go to now the basic shapes. We're not going to find the shape that we need here. We're going to go to hardware. And we're going to choose this one right here. It's called the ball. Okay. Now this one, I'm not sure if you've ever used it before, but if you haven't, if you haven't, you can't really adjust it because it's locked. They don't want you to change anything because this one goes directly to that one, the socket. And if you change this, then you have to change the socket and they won't work if you do that part incorrectly. So they locked it. You can't do anything to it. In fact, you can't even duplicate this. It doesn't do anything. Just one. If you need another one, just drag it over. Okay. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to lift this up 9.89. So, and 9.89, enter. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to align all of these, letter L here and there. This is now aligned. 
What we're going to do though, something that we are allowed to do here is group. So control G, we have grouped this. Now we're not done. I mean, technically this could work by itself, but uh, the older ones that I've used, these uh, Christmas lights, they have a little hinge on the side that helps it, helps them uh, hook up to the light. So we're gonna go to the shape generators here in the shapes library. We're gonna go down to the bottom, shape generators, and we're gonna go with the bent pipe. There it is, bent pipe, which is huge. However, we're gonna change the size to the size to two millimeters. So I'm gonna hit the shift button that way everything stays in a similar ratio in terms of size. And then I'm gonna just click here at two. Okay, so now let's focus on this over here. We want the pipe shape, this one right here, to be square. The wall thickness is gonna be five. Let's zoom in here while we're doing this that way you can see what's going on here. What else do we need? The angle bend. That's this one, the bend angle, sorry, 120. Bend angle, 120. The lead out length is next, right there. Lead out length is gonna be 40. And of course, what we want also is the color green. Okay, so there we go. We have our design and Arc diameter, I'm checking the numbers here to making sure, make sure everything is good. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna duplicate this thing. Control D, duplicate, there it is. Now I'm gonna hit the letter M to mirror, and there, and I'm gonna mirror, mirror it twice, or I'm gonna move it twice. Now with the shift button, I'm gonna move it seven times. Make sure that this is on one millimeter down here. The snap grid, I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to move it down. And at this point, I'm going to move this down this way. One. Actually, it's too much. So now I'm going to change the increments to point one and then seven times, I believe. Let's see if I got that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And at this point, I'm just gonna take that off and I want to align this as close as possible. So I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to move it. And that looks right, that looks wrong. Okay, so there you go, I moved it. I believe it was two or three times. Now, I'm gonna group these things and control G. The height is currently two. I'm gonna change this to three. I think we're good now. Okay, and I think we just need to rotate this twice, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna rotate that way, 45, was that 40? No, it was 90 degrees. And I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees this way. I'm gonna click the letter D, and there we go. Uh, something went wrong here. So this is all part of the design process. So let me ungroup these things. Let's see if I can fix this, fix this quickly. I've ungrouped them and I want this part right here to be extended further, which is gonna be this part. So I believe this is the lead in length. I'm gonna change that to, let's say 40. Let's see what kind of change that ha happens on that one. Yes, that's much better. This one I don't have to change, but this one, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna try it at 60. You know, I like that. That way it gives me more options as to how, how much distance I want here. So I'm gonna click on this, click the letter T so I can see through it. And I'm gonna group these again, control G after selecting both of them. Okay. Now I just put it here, but I didn't actually check to see if it was uh, aligned. So I'm gonna select both of them, click the letter L and align them there. Very important. Now here, this is the minimum distance right here. And I wouldn't want to move it in to the right in, in any way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to click on the arrow key and 
We just want a little bit of space here. So if you use this as a necklace or as anything else, there's some space here for you to put some sort of rope or chain or something. And I think we're good. Now, in order to not use any supports, I'm going to get rid of um, part of this right here. So I'm going to change this to basic shapes, use this block right here, and then I'm just going to drag it up. Because what I want is to just move this over here and make sure you don't cut anything here. All right, that looks good. Now, if you were to not do this part, when this would print, it would fall down. Whereas this here is printing on a curb, it should be fine. I'm gonna group those two. And technically I should just have grouped everything because we're at that point to, we're done with this. We're done with the socket part of the Christmas light. All right, I'm gonna click here, T, and then group again, Control G. We're done with the Christmas light. It's beautiful. All right, let's move on. All right, and now for the Christmas light. So we're gonna start off with a sphere. We're gonna to go to the basic shapes and click on sphere. We're gonna maximize the sides for this right there. And the height is gonna be 51.43. The width is gonna be 50 on either side. So we're gonna click here and here. Now mind you, to get this light, it took me several iterations, several attempts to get it right. And I'm just showing you the way that I got it right. So please don't think things are that easy. The next step is we're going to be moving this down negative 48.53. Be watchful for the number here because we're going to move this down. And then this is going to be negative 48.53 if I remember correctly. And I did. We're going to make this a hole and we're done with this part. Now we're going to go to the basic shapes library again for the next part and we're also going to get a sphere right there we're going to change the dimensions of this one to 26 in height and enter and it's going to be 28.67 on either side and 28.67 okay it looks weird but this is actually the way it's supposed to be and i uh, just going to maximize the sides there okay so this part is also going to be moved down and it's going to be negative five. So let's move this down negative five. Okay. And we're going to align this later. I believe we're done with this part. Yeah. Okay. So now we need, we're going to be making a hole in here, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring down the cylinder, maximize the sides and a sphere, maximize the sides. And we're going to be working with, with these two. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this one up by 10. So I'm going to start moving this up. And oh, let me try that again. I'm going to move it up and that's going to be 10. I'm going to align these two. L, align and align there. We're good with this. I'm going to group them. Control G. I'm going to make it a hole. And I'm going to change the dimensions a little bit. So here's the dimensions. I'm going to change this to 19. And the sides are going to be 16 on both directions. 16. All right. So now this whole thing, I'm going to move it down by four. So start down here and then negative four. There. Okay. We're done with that part. Now the next part is the paraboloid okay here we go okay this is already maxed out in the steps and what we're going to do is we're going to change the dimensions to 28.67 on all sides so i'm going to hit shift move that up and down and then change this to 28.67 right there and let me just make sure that everything is correct yeah they're all the same good now we're going to align all of these. Actually, no, one more step. I'm going to move this up 9.3, 9.3. Okay. Now I'm going to align all these parts right here. Control, or I'm just going to click the letter L there and there. Okay. Now make sure you get these little blue funny shapes all around it because it tells you that you're doing, doing it correctly. If you didn't, 
you missed a step somewhere. So, okay, we got this part down. We got that part down. Looks like we're good to go. So I'm going to group everything. All right. So we have the basics of the light, but here's the issue. If you look closely, there's some flat areas right here. These faces are visible when you print. If you look on this light over here, you can see the faces pretty clearly, whereas this one, it's harder to see. And that's because we did something to this to make it stand out. And I'm going to show you how, in fact, this might take a while because Tinkercad really doesn't like when we do this, but we're going to do it anyway. So here's what we're going to do. This is my third attempt at recording this. So I have some extra things over here. We're going to create our own shape. So here we go. We have this shape. And we're going to create our own. You click on your creations. You already have it selected. So then you click create shape. I'm going to name this shape. Uh, Christmas light. And this one's going to be my third one. Description is going to be a Christmas light. Tags, Christmas light, comma. Anyways, I'm going to change this one to, let's say, yellow. Why not? Looks like it's going to burn our retinas because of the brightness. Don't want to lock it because I really don't care. So I'm going to hit save shape. Okay, it's going to appear over here somewhere. That should be it right there. Now, this part should work. Like, I'm just going to drag it over here, and it should appear in a few seconds. There it is. Okay, good. Now, this part we don't need. In fact, I'm just going to delete it just to save Tinkercad some processing power here. Now, here's how we, how we might break Tinkercad, but at the same time, it makes it very smooth. Okay, you ready for this? We have it selected. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate, and I'm going to change this by one degree. Positive or negative doesn't matter. Ready? One. Now, because I haven't selected anything, I haven't done anything else, the same one that was duplicated is still selected. Tinkercad will do the same exact thing for you and create multiple versions of this and keep moving it by one degree on its own. So I'm going to do it again, and let's look at this. I'm going to do this, I think, 13 times. Let's check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes. Now that I have them all like this, it is much smoother. Do you see that? And down here, it's even smoother. Not perfect, just smoother. So I'm going to group all these. Now here's the thing. I hit group, but Tinkercad is going to take a while before this gets grouped. And while you're waiting, don't forget to like and subscribe in this video. And uh, I know, think about all the wrongs that you've done and why we're here in this situation. We, we're going to go to a shapes library. Again, this is processing. Trust me, it's processing. We're going to go to hardware. We're going to go to socket and click here. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees. And <laughs> I meant the other direction. So it's pointing down. I'm going to click the letter D. That way it's touching the ground. Let's look over here. Okay, yeah, that's touching the ground. And technically, I've also been stalling and waiting for, for uh, Tinkercad to actually process this. You see how I'm trying to select it and it's not? Well, that happens. So once this is um, allowed, it should take like two or three minutes to become one object. Then what we're going to do is we're going to align this and then I'll show you one last step that we're going to do. So let's just wait on Tinkercad. All right, that was all of 30 seconds, I believe. So now we can manipulate this thing. I'm going to select both of them, click the letter L, and align here, align there. Now you can print this in one color and print this in another color, and then connect this thing. Did I group this? I did not. Now it's red. Um, when you print it, you can actually put it on here and exchange it for another color when you want to change it. And again, I said earlier, you can put this as a, you can make this as a necklace or even uh, if you put a hole in the center of this, you can make this a pencil topper, which apparently is very popular in some grades. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out all the type of tutorials I have available for you to, you know, learn and play. Have a great day.